Throughout the Metal Fight series, we've been treated to some of the most diverse and beloved characters ever encountered in the world of Beyblade. However, for every Ryuga and Jingo, there are those of an obscure nature that unfortunately do not garner the spotlight they deserve. Today, we'll be taking a look into one such blader as we uncover the wielder of the mysterious Count Leon Bear. Welcome to the first episode of Metal Fight Bios as we try to answer the question as to just who is Nemea. Nemea is a blader hailing from Greece, making his first and only appearance in the Metal Fight Beyblade game for the Nintendo DS, as one of the three playable guest characters depending on the version you Bought alongside the likes of Sora Akatsuki and Takaru. Similarly to Sora's resemblance to Jinga Hagane, Nemea could be considered the counterpart of Kiyoyo Tatagame, not only appearance wise but also due to the fact that he's the only other blader in the series to use a Leon Bay aside from Kiyoya, Sora sharing the same trait when it pertains to Pegasus. Appearance wise, Nemea sports shaggy blonde hair and brown eyes, with a coat that bears a striking resemblance to the outfit Squall wears himself in Final Fantasy VIII. Like Kiyoya, Nemea is portrayed to be quite a loner, taking pride in his independence through in such as a value of strength. Strength, like the legendary Greek lion Nemea, where his name is actually derived from. Taking the mythological lion as his key inspiration in battle, he strives to become one with his bear Count Leon through the characteristics that truly makes a lion the king of the jungle, unrivaled in speed, strength and fearlessness. And this dedication to his craft is evident throughout his training as well, honing his skills to become a fierce blader in his own right all by himself, possessing the commitment to developing his own special moves and style of battle without the guidance of friends or a mentor, all in the pursuit of his ambition to take down any challenger that comes his way through the might of his legendary Leon. It was around this time when Nemea caught winds of the rumours reporting that bladers all over the globe were having their base spirits stolen upon their defeat, with the sudden emergence of a brand new tournament taking centre stage of where these incidents took place. Entering the Nosferatu Beyblade Coliseum on the back of these rumours, Nemea enters the tournament himself, viewing it as a perfect opportunity to truly test the power of his Count Leon. Encountering fierce opponents with the likes of Benke, Ikaru, Iyoma, Kenta and even Kiyoya himself, Nemea continues to impress utilising the defensive prowess of his Leon to progress further in the competition, finally coming face to face with the first member of Nosferatu, Aegis. After an intense battle, he was eventually able to come out on top, overcoming Aegis and advancing onwards to the semi-finals, his opponent revealing himself to be yet another member of this mysterious group, Crow, the user of the eternal stamina type Calamity Raven. With Crow's defeat paving the way to the finals taking place in the illustrious final Colosseum, Nemea is guided by the ominous presence emerging from the leader of Nosferatu, Fan. Confronting Van over the rumours, Nemea is challenged to the final battle, his bare Bloody Belzebrute taken to the stadium. Ultimately, Bloody Belzebrute crumbles under the relentless attacks of Leon's fangs, putting an end to Nosferatu's schemes and cementing Nemea as the number one blader in the world, determined to find his next challenge. Now whilst Nemea himself only appears in this one instalment, failing to make any other appearances throughout the series of Metafight when it pertains to the anime, the manga or even the other video games, the same cannot be said for his bear Count Leon. As I mentioned earlier on, Count Leon was included as a special edition in the 2009 DS game, alongside the other two guest characters within their respective exclusive editions. However, this was only the case in North America. In both Japan and European regions, we only received the Cyber Pegasus edition of this game, featuring Sora as the playable guest character. It wasn't until the following year when Japanese and European players finally had the chance to get their hands on Count Leon, bundled with the collector's edition of the Wii title Meta Fight Beyblade Count Leon, or Battle Fortress as it's known in the US. The only notable exception to this would be the Count of Leon included in the Hasbro Legend series line that pays tribute to Kiyoya's original bear from the metal or pre-hybrid wheel line of bears Leon 145 Defense. Although while similar and ultimately being based from this design, the version Nemea uses is different to Kiyoya's in both the colorization, performance tip and the inclusion of a clear wheel. Unfortunately, that's all I have to say regarding Nemea, as there simply isn't a ton of information on him outside of his only appearance in the series. It's honestly a shame as I would have loved to see a take on Nemea in either the anime or the manga, as he definitely has the potential for his conception, and it would have been amazing to see him interact properly with the other characters either through a one-off episode or a battle with Kiyoya. But when you take into account how Sora was treated in the anime, I can understand why Nemea was never given an opportunity to shine. At the end of the day, he was designed to fit the single purpose of selling a collector's edition to kids and ultimately he fulfilled that role rather well. Anyway, that's all the time I have for today. This was always intended to be a shorter video whilst I work on my chapter 2 review of the Metal Fight manga that should be releasing sometime in the week or early next week at the very latest. If you made it this far, thanks as always for sticking around. And if you love Beyblade content and would like to see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing and smashing that like button. I upload Beyblade content on a weekly basis from Metal Fight to Back You To Chew and I even plan to cover bush related topics in the near future as well. Your support helps the channel grow and I truly really appreciate all of you for sticking around. As always, take care and I'll catch you in the next one.